guys, welcome to New Trends with Matilda, aka Matifaye. <laughs> Today, guys, we're going to talk about a couple of trending happenings on social media. So, let's try. So, guys, this week we spotted a green light on a renowned Nollywood celebrity, an actress and a musician, Angelo Corey, who took to her Instagram account to share some loved up pictures with her fiancé, whom she called Choo Choo Baby, and subsequently she shared their wedding pictures. Oh my god, these pictures were so adorable and lovely, you know, and it was a surprise to her fans and followers, you know, as we never expected such development from her, you know, this period. It was such a surprise. And Angela Corey, as you all know, is a mother of one, and she was once married and now divorced. But the cause of that divorce is yet to be known. By anyone, so it's not wrong to say that Angelo Corey is married for the second time, and it's really good, it's really spectacular for her, you know, to think that she has survived a near death experience sometime last year. Now, according to her, she said that about 10 bullets was removed from her head after a few armed men ambushed her on her way home, you know. She survived that, and that ordeal was what made her first hit album, he pained them to go viral, you know, as people wanted to hear what a survivor like her had to say in a song. Now, this week, she lets us into this amazing thing going on in her love life, and it's really a thing of joy, and it's deserving of every congratulatory wishes and positive reaction she's been getting on social media. Moving on, guys. I also spotted a green light on a little kid called Orofe Olua, who is now popularly known as Mommy Calm Down. <laughs> yeah, you know, in the past few days now, uh, the colors Mommy Calm Down has become a common term used all over social media. You know, following the comic video interaction between the mother and her son. In a sad video, guys, the little kid was seen pleading with her mom to please calm down and to refrain from punishing him. While the mom was seen scolding and threatening to punish him for the same offense he commits over and over again. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you to be calming down. No, calm me down. No, calm me down. I want you to be calm down so you not rest the eh? You must rest the mommy. You must rest the little. I should rest before I beat you. No, no. Must rest like this. Now this video went viral on social media because of the little kid's comic way of expressing his remorse and regret for committing that same offense again. You know, you would agree with me guys that this kid would make a fine actor and a good comedian. Seriously, because I for one could not hold in my laughter when I saw that video. At first I thought it was a normal clip from child abuse or some sort, but when the video started, I could not hold back my laughter, especially when he dropped his first line, Mommy, calm down. Really, it was really, really hilarious. Like, the kid baffled everyone that watched the video. To show you how interesting and funny this kid was, guys, he caught the attention of the governor of Lagos State, Governor Baba Jide Sanwolu, yeah, who was inspired by the kid's opening clause, Mommy, calm down. And he even adopted it when he was addressing his fellow Lagosians. He told them to calm down and not to get carried away with the excitement that comes with solar celebration, you know, as we are still at war with COVID-19. And he even sought to meet with this kid. You know, like the video went viral on every social media. You know, people were just picking out their favorite parts from you know, the guy's pleas to his mom and posting it everywhere. Even celebrities were retweeting this and reposting this on, on their timeline. You know, and then on that note, I do urge the parents of this kid to please do not overlook the kid's inherent acting potentials and start grooming him now. Because I bet you this kid will make a fine actor. Next on our list now is the ever-trending BB Niger show, and that we'll dive right into just after this short break. So, stay with us.
OCO World don't play any politics when it has to do with the best. They believe in potential and I can assure you that there are many people like me out there that is benefiting from this wonderful platform. Grab your phone and you won't regret it. Thank you. driving the baby Naja show is still on the top list of events trending on social media like updates from this show pops up on every platform like whether you like it or not you must see an update from bbn really it's been crazy this week you know on that note i could not overlook the confession made by one of the housemates dorothy bakor who confessed that her parents do not approve of her being among the housemates of this year's unscripted reality TV show, you know, and had also warned her not to return to their home at the end of the show. Now, she made this known to us during their Tuesday journal with housemates when Big Brother asked her a question. He asked her whether she realized that she could win the cash prize, that is 85 million naira, up for grabs in the show. No, Dorothy reacting, uh, replying to that, she said that she aims and hopes to win, if not for anything, but just to make her parents re-examine their stance on not allowing her back into the house at the end of the show. Yeah, now this confession actually gave a voice to people that do not like the show for any reason. Like, these people think that this show only promotes immoral acts and should be banned from airing in Nigeria, as it influences our youth negatively. You know, during the week, the illicit sexual activities that was happening between, among the housemates, yeah, when they were playing the game truth or there, actually ignited a fury in the hearts of these people. I call them anti Libyan followers. You know, they got really upset, you know, and they took to social media to lament and, you know, trash the show. They said the show was satanic. They said it's of no use. They said it's used that the resources could actually be, you know, pushed into something more productive in the country. But then, guys, your opinion on this is really, really welcome. So, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that the show should be banned as these people, you know, protest this? Or do you think that the benefits from this show, that is cash or kind, kind I mean endorsement or fame that comes to the housemates, uh, do you think the benefit from this show is worth any form of, you know, scandal that could come from the show? Your thoughts and your opinions are welcome down on our comment section. And on that note, we've come to the end of today's show. Catch you next time on Nutrients with Matilda, a.k.a. Matifaya on OCO TV. And do want to follow us on all our social media handles, turn on your post notification, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Most importantly, stay safe.